Hello, welcome. I have been doing videos ever since my freshman year of college here at Rutgers University, my dorm slash house tour. So this year I'm gonna show you guys my apartment for senior year, I thought it was definitely necessary for me to just have all four years for you guys, so yeah. I'm gonna tell you like a little details about this whole living situation. If you watched my video last year, then you know that that house was technically off campus. What that means is that it has no ties to Rutgers University and like you pay rent from like a landlord and you pay it every single month. This year, I am technically living on campus at this place called The Yard. Basically, being in on-campus housing means that you just have to get it through this Rutgers lottery. It's either how lucky you get, and then it also has to do with your seniority points. So usually it's known that at The Yard, the seniors and juniors get it, or are more likely to get it. If you're not a senior or junior and you live here, like that's very weird. It's definitely one of the bougiest places to live at Rutgers University. You'll see later in the video, like it's so convenient. It's so nice and just being able to pay it on your tuition rather than every single month is just like a stress reliever and all that good stuff. So yeah, let's get started with the video. This is our kitchen. It's a very nice kitchen and we all really appreciate it because me and my two other roommates at the moment really love to cook. Let me walk you through it. Over here we have a full size fridge. Came with place. It's always stocked and ready since we all love to cook, like I said. So there's never a time when this is not packed. You can tell that we have a shit ton of cabinets. There's too many, but it's also a good thing. This all came with the apartment, the stove, the oven, the microwave. Maintenance is all really good about like fixing it. If you ever have troubles, they'll just like replace it or like fix it for you. Over here, we don't really have a drying rack, so <laughs> this is a little messy, but we have a drying mat, so that's why it looks like this. This is where I put all my plates and stuff. So me and my roommates, we all have like our separate things. So we have our own designated thing, like areas, which is really nice with the storage because all know like, okay, this is in my two or like those are my two and things like that. This island is so good for cooking because as you can tell, like on our tabletop over here, it's not so cute. It's a little messy, but this really saves our lives. We're constantly like, I know some people who live at the yard have their chairs like all four there. We just like it here so if you have like guests or anything, you can look at them or if you just wanna sit on this side because sunlight comes from here. Whatever suits your fancy. It also pulls out, like you can move it literally anywhere you want to because it like rolls, but um, we don't move it. This is literally like our random stuff make it work situation. This area is kind of just like, we're too lazy to organize and we just want to throw it over here. So let's just shove it closest to the wall and make it work. This is the living room. It's not very cute just because we don't actually use the living room. I mean, we do sometimes, but for the most part, we really just don't chill here. I feel like we're just constantly either in the kitchen chilling or like on those chairs, but rarely ever on these couches. These couches, by the way, were given. All right, so that was the living room. Let's go yonder. <laughs> okay, so that's the main entrance where we started. And then so to your left, no, okay. You enter and to your right is the kitchen and living room. And then to your right is this hallway and where all our rooms are and the bathroom. So you guys know Sydney, she's like in all my videos recently. She used to be my roommate and she graduated this winter. So she no longer lives here. This room is actually empty. Someone new is moving in today. So that should be very exciting. So then this will actually be occupied. But for right now, it's empty. I feel like this room is a very classic Sophia room if you've seen my other dorm tours. I keep it pretty consistent throughout the years. Like I always like white sheets, pictures on my walls, tapestry. I don't really have a certain theme to this. As long as it's utility is good, then I am happy. Let's just walk through it. This is my bed. Best part about living at the yard is that it comes with a full size bed. Not only is there space to have this full size bed, but they supply it for you. Downside to this is that the bed isn't the most comfiest. So basically think of your twin XL freshman year, but just 
made bigger. So it's not comfy, you need a mattress cover and everything like that, and it still isn't the most comfortable. I would have definitely preferred bringing my own mattress, but you can't really do that because there's nowhere to store the given mattress, but I'm not planning because it's still a really big bed. There's also um, two storage bins or like drawers under the bed as well. So totally clutch. On my wall, these are just like pictures of my friends. It's mostly just film pictures in general because I really wanted to have that aesthetic on my wall and then that's the wrestling schedule. So this is my nightstand. For my nightstands, I really just throw everything that I need immediately on top and there's really no organization to it. Cameras, always on here, and then flowers I buy myself because love yourself. Scrunchie and scissor goes there. Under is my technology bin, so all my speaker stuff is there, my camera stuff, my tripods, my film. That's my nightstand. Over here is my favorite part of my room. This is my shoe shrine, so I would walk you through it. Leave a comment down below if you want me to do a shoe haul. <laughs> this is where I keep all of my bad boys. In, in mint condition. Actually not mint condition, but yeah. If I didn't have the shoe rack, I would be nothing because there would literally be no space in this room. <clears throat> this is the most perfect shoe rack in the world. If you guys need a shoe rack like this, I definitely recommend it. It's from Amazon, it was like $34. It's the most perfect, like I have only glowing reviews for this shoe rack. Right after the shoes, we have my dance little moment on the wall that I've had every single year. And then I have my Ikea mirror. You have to have a full body mirror, or at least in my opinion, because where else are you gonna take your mirror selfies? And then here is just like my whiteboard that I've had ever since freshman year. I write like, if I ever have an idea, I just throw it up on there. Hamper, trash can, it's laundry day, so. This huge thing was supplied by the yard. This is a ton of clothes, as you can see, we are in winter winter style and i supplied this stuff because there was not enough storage and then to the side this is where i keep like my palms it's a weird combination i have pom-poms and um like bags for my trash can but it works and then i also have like heels i really just throw whatever into this little this little section and then under the cabinet this is where I put like all my sweats and my shirts, like my t-shirts. And I just have so many that I had to have a designated little, what's it called, drawer. Here we just have more storage. It's just like more cabinets for like my clothes, beanies, whatever, socks. This thing, it's just where I put like my stuff, you know? It's like whatever my stuff like it just goes here this is my ottoman that i have had forever it also holds like things that i just like want to put in here like all my medicines in here i have band-aids in here i have a heat warmer in here over here is my desk this also came with a place it does the job it's really just like a desk like it, that's it I have all my makeup here. There's something about the aesthetic of not hanging up my mirror. I really like the idea of this being just like a piece of mirror. If you're not on my calendar or my planner, then I'm not seeing you. Basically, if I don't write you down, you're not booked. Oh, let me tell you about my little um, window ledge situation. As you can tell here, there's like a lot of random stuff and it's really because I just like, I like my things to be in like organized areas. I don't know how to describe it. Like, for example, I know they're in Tupperware and I know it's really weird, but it works, okay? After my room is my pantry and bathroom, but it'll take like super quick because that's so self explanatory. So you exit my room and the pantry is right across. So let's head on over. This is the pantry. It has all our dry foods, um, we also use it for mass storage. As you can tell, like I have leftover Maybelline things from here I keep and other people keep their suitcases here for when they travel back and forth to home and you have like a ton of stuff with you. We have our cleaning supplies here and I personally put all my coats here because I just don't have space in my room because I have so much stuff. I do have friends that have an apartment here that turn this whole space. They are guys, so they don't really have that much food or clothes or things that they need. But because they didn't have that much stuff that they needed a pantry for, they turned this whole room into a study room. So like they carpeted it, they had nothing in it besides two desks. So they took the desks from inside their room and put it in here. 
So if you ever wanted to be in solidarity, you could just come into the study room and then grind there. It also emptied up space into their bedroom, so it is a very smart idea, but personally, if we didn't have this pantry, we would, we would be nothing, we would be lost. This pantry is very necessary. It's a four person occupancy and there's two bathrooms, which is so nice because then you're not all fighting for one bathroom. And I honestly didn't expect there to be two bathrooms, so that was really a plus. So the bathroom's like really self-explanatory. Um, yeah, I would just say the worst thing about this bathroom is that these counters and everything like that, it's like all white. So if you get a stain on it or like, you just have to clean this place constantly because of like this um, material, not material, but like what it's made of. It's just like easily stainable and whatever. It just looks dirty easily. Same with the countertops in the kitchen, but it's whatever. As long as you're clean, you'll have no problem. So I had this vlog where I did like a week in my life and I told you guys that they were working on their shower and this is basically what they added. If you live in the yard, you probably don't have like these things. So like when we first moved in here, we had to get our own where it's like attachable and you can put your shampoo and shit over there. I have a lot of stuff. What, what, what can you do? But yeah, that's the bathroom. The rest of the apartment is just two more bedrooms and then one more bathroom, as you can tell. And that's it. I'm taking over the camera because I want to show you guys how close I am to the bus stop. So this is my view, first of all. I guess I never showed you guys that. That over there is a bus stop. So it's super convenient. You just like run out from the door over here and then run straight. And then that is where your bus is. This is a huge TV. Doesn't get annoying in case you're wondering. I'm gonna show you guys the gym here and then also the Sky Lounge because those are also two very big pluses to living at the yard. take you guys into the gym well like I wanted to but I couldn't because people are actually working out but on the second floor is our laundry and then it's our gym and it's actually pretty good of a size and it has basically everything you need except for um, like a squat rack and like if you really are interested in lifting heavy heavy weights then this definitely doesn't have everything for you but it has enough for most we're on the 14th floor which is the highest floor in this apartment building and I am about to take you guys to the Sky Lounge, which is just a lounge that has a very great view. So I totally forgot to do the outro, so here I am. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that when I was moving into the yard, I was searching all over the place for anything about the yard, any details about it. I know that Rutgers barely gives you any, and YouTube, I found nothing. So I hope this video was helpful for anybody who wants or is going to move into the yard. And if you're not and you're just here for some quality content and a good time, I hope you enjoyed this video. I mentioned this already, but I do have videos of my previous living situations from the other three years that I was at school here. And they're all very three different living situations. Like I even lived off campus and I talked about that. So if you guys need more information, go check those videos out. Those are pretty helpful as well, if I do say so myself. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video.